good morning good afternoon good evening i'm greeting you depending on where you're watching this video from so guys in today's video we'll be talking about clothes the extraordinary benefit of clothes the outstanding benefit the spiritual benefit the in fact the ignored benefit of clothes you know those benefits that you don't know that clothes can actually bring to you if you have been following me on this channel you will know that i've actually done a video on clothes you know i've done like three videos on clothes on how to use it for gossips like someone that is gossiping against you can use clothes for that you can check out the video so i'll be putting the video on this video description so you'll be able to check it out so in this video i'll be showing you 10 amazing spiritual benefit of clothes it's actually wonderful like you need to listen to this video i know a lot of you guys might have seen videos on clothes but trust me after watching this video you're gonna buy a bag of clothes because you will see the usefulness of clothes more than ever before so relax i'll be showing you 10 most amazing spiritual benefits of clothes now my number one is when you're always falling from one problem to the other when you are always having one issue or the other, when you are always having one spiritual problem, you are going from one spiritual problem to another, you are not always, in fact, you are not always coming out of it. Either, either you come out from the one that you are in or you, you, are, you are stopped in the problem that you are having, like, like from one problem to another. Then all you do is to take two clothes, that's two sticks of clothes, take one camphor, yes, camphor, just get them together then you burn them outside your house trust me after doing this you get solution for that your problem so my number two is whenever you are having a lot of enemies that are disturbing you that is disturbing your life you know that you have a lot of enemies you know within you apart from the ones that are unseen you know within you that you have a lot of enemies that is against you that is against your progress that is against anything that you do that do not want you to progress that just want anything that you do to be fruitless like you shouldn't be fruitful like you know you have enemies then what you do is to get close get five close take four to four junctions you know you know sometimes once you go to a street you see that the street is having two direction make sure this one that you want to drop this uh, this clove is having four roads like it's going to have four patterns four different sides so all you will do is to throw each clove in each direction that's the north the east the west the south throw it in the four parts once you've thrown it to the junction then you go back to your house and please once you're going do not look at your back don't look at your back just just keep going don't talk to anybody what you will do is that once you get to your house immediately you take your bait after you must have bait then you are free to talk to anybody but at that particular time once you reach those junctions you throw away those um those clothes at the four junctions then you come back do not talk to anybody and don't look at your back once you get to your house bait normal bait bait before you talk to anybody now the next morning you know you are having one remaining after throwing four in the four junctions, you know you are still ha having uh, one remaining. What you do with that one is that you are going to write the name of your enemy in a piece of paper. You write it with a black biro. For those of you that will ask me, what if I do not know my enemy's name? Always make sure you use the word, my hidden enemies, my known and my unknown enemies. Always make sure you use that word so that it covers both the enemies that you know and the ones that you do not even know that they, they, that they are your enemies. Always make use of that word when you do not know the particular enemies that you are actually doing the spiritual work on. So after writing that your enemy's name on the piece of paper, then you put the clove, that's the one piece that is remaining, you put the clove, then you put it inside the paper, then you, you, you close it, you tie it together, then you bond those two together. As you are bonding it, always make sure you state your intentions. Now my number three is when you are always having evil eyes. You can use clothes for evil eyes. You know when you know that is, you feel strong, strong feeling that there is an evil eye that is that is monitoring you that is monitoring your progress that is monitoring everything that you do that is monitoring both your your life in general you know within you that there is a strong 
evil eye that is monitoring you all you do is to get lemon get one lemon insert four clothes inside it just you know as clothes i just put you can use something and open the lemon just insert those four clothes on the lemon once you have inserted those clothes then you take the lemon then you round it all over your neck for three times rotate it to one two three once you are rotating make sure you always speak make sure you say your intention so after you must have rounded it on your neck then you take that same lemon to four junction i've talked about four junction four junction in the sense that a way that has four roads like once you come to a road it has four directions so after throwing it in the four junctions then you go home once you reach home please please do not look back once you are going to your house do not look back just go straight to your house now to enhance success in anything you do now to like anything you do to be successful to enhance success in anything you do so what you do is get one clove get one camphor put it beside you while sleeping and always try to burn it early in the morning once you wake up get one clove one camphor place it beside you while you are sleeping then in the morning you burn it outside your gate now to open closed doors to open your way to make your way smooth to remove any obstacle to remove any any blockage to remove to make your way you know smooth to make just like a way opener you can you can as well use clove to open your way so what you do is to get white eggshell the white one the white eggshell you grind it mix it together with a grinded powdered clove use it to bait outside your house outside your house or you can use it to bait at night when you know nobody's awake you can as well just go outside your house and pour water on your body the number five spiritual benefit of clove is that you can use it for protection all you do is to get a sand from a dustbin get a sand from the dustbin then also get seven to nine cloves tie it in a white cloth try to tie it with a white thread as well so always keep it with you this will remove any evil from coming close to you this will remove anything from coming close to you this will protect you wherever you're going to to send negative energies away from your home you can use cloves as well all you will do is to boil cloves boil it make sure it's boiled then use the water sprinkle all over your house sprinkle all over your home you can sprinkle it all over your office you can sprinkle it all over your shop your anywhere you are just sprinkle it it's just away bad energies just away bad you know bad you know anything that is negative you know coming close to your home or coming close to your office or coming close to your shop you can use clothes to attract riches and prosperity all you do is to get a green candle then you get seven to nine clothes then you put the clove inside the candle i just put it on the candle then you light the candle see your intentions as the candle is burning down make sure you do this particular remedy after sunset now do you want people to stop gossiping about you, you can use cloves i've actually done a video on this particular one so there's no need giving info about this particular one you can use cloves for gossipers people that bad belly that talks at your back and it's if you pass they will if in fact they just talk about your necessary in fact they even add lies that's even the most annoying part because normally people are meant to talk but once it's becoming a lie that's one that we do not support you can talk about me but once it's becoming a lie then please hold your hold your hold your speech so if you need the link of your enemies gossiping about you please comment on the comment section below and i'll give you the link so you can try it out do you think you are weak spiritually then you can use clove to awaken your spiritual life this particular remedy open your spiritual eyes draw money to you draw more sales draw more business to you this particular remedy so all you will do is to get enough clothes get plenty clothes put it inside the red cloth tight just put it in your house or you put it in your in your office it has a way of attracting good things to you it enables your eye to be open so you can see things 
Now, to draw good luck to yourself, you can always add clothes inside your bathing water. Whenever you are bathing, always make sure you always add clothes. It attracts good luck to you. It attracts good things to you. Wherever you are going, you attract good things. Like good luck will always follow you wherever you go to. Then, if you want to draw good luck to your home, if you want to draw good luck to your office, always make sure you burn clothes in your office or make sure you burn clothes in your house. Always make sure that there is always that you're always burning clothes. You no. Know? It attracts good things to you. Always make sure that there is always clothes in your house. Always make sure that you always have clothes. There's some certain things that must not finish in your house. Something like clothes should not finish in your house. You should always have clothes. In your house. If I just leave it, even if you do not want to burn it, always make sure you have clothes. It, it removes negative energy. It removes negative things from coming near your home or your office. So guys, the spiritual benefit of clothes is actually very much. It's actually big. It's, 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 it's big. If you want to talk about spiritual importance of clothes, spiritual benefit of clothes, then this video will, this video will, will be like an actual movie because it's, it's going to be very, very long. So I'm just trying to cut everything short, short. The, cl the clothes on its own have a lot of strong spiritual, spiritual uses. Like clothes is powerful. Clothes is powerful. So guys, do this and give me feedback on the comment section below. We've actually come to the end of today's video. If you find this video helpful and interesting, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video to friends and loved ones. I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. Remain blessed.